I know I'm going to regret agreeing to finish this tier list with these clouds. Hey, Biden, how's it going? Hey, Joe, how's it going? I'm good, Donald. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, guys, I know we left yesterday on a bad note, but to bring us all back on the same page, can we all agree? Emerald is easy S tier. Wow, you actually made a good take after your giant L take about Unova. Hard S tier. The battle frontier is bomb as hell, and Rakuza is the best legendary. Joe, did your dumbass just pronounce Rayquaza as Rakuza? What the fuck are you on? Guys, how the hell are you already fighting even when we agreed this game is S tier? Let's just move on to X and Y. This game should be D tier. Moving to 3D animation instead of 2D sprites was the worst decision ever made. I mean, have you seen Typhlosion? Here goes Gen 1 or Joe again. Do you hate every game that isn't as old as you are? While the graphics were bad, the story and gameplay still makes this deserve at least B tier. I agree with Trump on this one, Joe. The games weren't the greatest, but they did a decent job breaking new ground on the 3DS. So I'm going to put it in B. Also, are we all forgetting the Mega Evolution mechanic? Of all the gimmicks Game Freak has added, such as Z-Moves, Mega Evolution is by far the best one. That's funny, considering you don't even believe in evolution. What the hell did you just say to me, Joe? I knew you of all people wouldn't appreciate the awesomeness of X and Y. Froki is literally the coolest starter, not to mention Chespin and Fennekin both go hard as well. Those starters are mid. You want a good starter trio, look at Johto, look at Kanto. That's peak Pokemon design, not some stupid frog with bubbles on his neck. Joe, even Obama, agrees that X and Y is a good game. Just because something changed doesn't mean it's bad. Your party is supposed to be progressive. Shouldn't you want change? I'm just going to keep playing Run 3 until you guys finish. We already put this in B tier. Can we just move on? Fine, let's just move on to Sun and Moon. I'm going to go get a drink of water. Don't fuck up the list while I'm gone. Hey, Obama put Sun and Moon in C tier to piss off Donald. Those games deserve better than that, Joe. However, I'm still salty about black and white. And Trump only likes those games because he thinks Lusamine is hot. Okay, and bet why the fuck is Sun and Moon in C tier? I leave for two seconds to get a drink. Can you guys put Peak Pokemon in C tier? The Alola storyline is cool, but this game has more filler than some of your speeches, Trump. Also, just because the game has a Pokemon clone of you doesn't make it good. Gumshoes is literally the greatest Pokemon ever made. These games are easy S tier. This is so bullshit how you guys moved on without me. Sorry, Donald, that's what happens when you abandon the call just like you abandoned America. Anyway, moving on to the Switch games, let's start with Sword and Shield. Bottom tier. I will accept your point that X and Y did decent considering it was moving from the DS to the 3DS, but the transition to the Switch was just horrible. I'm still mad about Sun and Moon not being S+, plus, but I agree with Joe on Sword and Shield. The wild area was a stupid concept. Also, the game gives you so many XP candies, you could have a Max Evolve starter by the first gym. Glad we can all get behind Sword and Shield sucking. The Pokemon Raid concept was stupid as hell, and Dynamax was just a shitty mega evolution. Scarlet and Violet belong in the bottom tier as well. It ruined the Pokemon formula that had been perfected over the last two decades. Joe, you dumbass, the formula wasn't working. Pokemon needed to change, and this game deserves B tier at least. The ride Pokemon was cool as hell. Just because you couldn't sniff Nimona's hair, Joe doesn't make the game bad. Of course, you would support the game where the evil team is basically just a bunch of school shooters. Personally, I'm in the middle here as I thought the past and future concept was cool, but there were some issues. So let's just drop it in C tier as a compromise. By issues, do you mean the frame rate in this game drops harder than the stock market in 2008? I think he meant that the frame rate drops harder than the bombs he dropped on Syrian hospitals. Shut up, Joe. The only reason you haven't started a global thermonuclear war is because the nuke codes are kept in a childproof medicine bottle. Roasted. All right, we forgot to rank the Let's Go games. Personally, these also belong in D tier because it ruined the catch mechanic and all Game Freak wanted to do was appeal to a bunch of 11-year-old Pokemon Go players. I happen to like the Let's Go games. I think they oh were boy, a good remake go. of the originals, and I enjoyed seeing Jesse and James and Meowth. Joe, that's the worst take I've ever heard. This game was the same as Pokemon Yellow, but dumbed down so six-year-olds could play it. To be honest, that's probably why you like this game, because you have the mental capacity of a six-year-old. All right, moving on to Legends Arceus. I think this deserves S or A tier. While I was initially hesitant about the open-world concept, I think Game Freak did a great job. Also, this is easily a top three storyline. I disagree. Your character is basically an illegal immigrant who stole jobs from the people of Jubilife Village. 
This game would be better if you were forced to live in the wild on your own. How the hell do you compare falling through a time rip to being an illegal immigrant? This game is A-tier. Joe, you're such a Gen 1-er, I'm surprised you even played this game. However, since this is the last game, I will let you guys put this in A-tier. Hold on, Trump. We still have to rank Pokemon BDSP before we go. Personally, I haven't played this game, so I'm hoping one of you can just rank it. Did you just say Pokemon BDSM? What the hell is that? I haven't played it either because the art style is the worst thing I have ever seen, and it's made for 11-year-olds. And I'm assuming Joe hasn't played it either because he thinks it's called BDSM. All right, I guess we have to put it in the haven't played tier then. See you, Trump. See you, Joe. Goodbye, Sleepy Joe. Enjoy your last year in the White House before I take it back. What the hell is BDSM? BDSM is...